What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Malt Man episode. I'm on the lake today with my girl Zoe and uh, we are doing a little fishing. We're actually going after some panfish today. So uh, skipping a little jig, pitching a little jig into these docks and um, I'm heading over to a spot where they clean a bunch of fish. See if I can find some big bluegill over here and then we're gonna go shoot all these docks and see if we can't catch some crappie and some big bluegill perch as we call them here in Texas. But uh, let's get after it, see if we can get some dinner. All right, guys, got this itty bitty, got this itty bitty little jig, and I'm so I'm taking my bait and opening the veil and shooting it under these dots. Shoot the bait under there. Just like that. That's a crappie. That's a good crappie too. Big old black crappie. That's what I like to see. I like it. Got a couple crappie. Got a couple bluegill. Let's see if we can get another one out of there. So all you're doing is taking your jig and pulling it back with the veil open. Slide it back in there. And you're just jigging it back. Nothing that time. Oh, there he is. He did hit it. Right there at the end, big old bluegill. That's what I like right there. Them are good eating. Nothing better than catching bluegill on a little jig. All right, let's try this next dock. See if there's anything on this one. Oh, one hit it. Didn't want it. All right, let's go back to the old honey hole. Nothing on that one. There he is. Ooh, that's a big, that's a bass or something. He got me hung up. Oh my gosh. What is this? Oh. Guys, I think that was like a five pound bass. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe that just happened. He got me hung up on that little boat lift. Dang it. That would have been fun to land. So I'm just using these little tiny jig heads so they don't sink fast. Um, it just seems like they like it when it's got a slow fall and little fast movements. And there you go. That's all we're using. Let's see if we can't get him to bite again. He's got a hook deep in his mouth. So I doubt it. All right, we retied, put on a little watermelon, green and pink. Not the traditional watermelon. I don't know what this would be called, but it looks like a watermelon, so I'm going with it. See if they like a little color change. All right, guys. I just pulled in one of these boat slips, and there's a bunch of buffalo uh, sitting on top of the water. I got this new little sling spear, and uh, let's see if I can't get one. All right. 
Alright, let's see if we can get it done with this bad boy. I just saw a bunch of carp in here. I don't know where they went. There's a gar. And there's a few bluegill over there. I might try to catch those in a second. I'm scared I'm going to let go of this spear. Let's see if we can get this gar. Went straight into the boat dock. All right, there's that gar. Where'd he go? Alright guys, just met up with Oscar and Rogelio. They're over here bank fishing, trying to catch some bed fish. And it's still slow as ever. Um, gonna still try to catch some crappie and some bluegill, but uh, sun's about to go down. So we'll catch y'all if we catch any more fish today. Well, if the crappie won't bite, we'll try to catch the old bass. See if we can find a bed fish or two. These bass are guarding the fry and they can be easy to catch sometimes if you make them mad long enough. Well, it has been an absolute struggle today. I don't know what's going on. There's some moss in the lake that I've never seen here before, but I think we ended up with six or seven crappie and a couple big bluegill. So it wasn't a terrible day. Um, they're all black crappie too. I'm not used to catching big black crappie, but that is all we caught today. Black crappie and big bluegill. So we're gonna wrap it up. Uh, head to the house, clean these fish up, make an awesome dinner and uh, I gotta figure out how we're gonna do it. I think we're gonna do whole whole fish tonight. I haven't had whole fish in a long time and I've been craving it. So uh, let's go try to the boat and uh, head to the house. I'm gonna clean these crappie, um, fillet them out, and I'm gonna do the perch hole. Angel likes fillets, not whole fish. So, so y'all seen me clean crappie before? Same as always. Just knock that side off. So once you get your fillets, cut the ribs out. And those are two nice crappie fillets. So we're gonna use a curry comb for a horse uh, to scale these guys. It's kind of tough with a curry comb on these because you start sticking your hand, but once you get it, you can just go over the whole fish and it takes everything off. A lot easier than a fork. I'm 
and make sure you get scales off from every direction because scales do not taste good. Get them in between the fins. So that fish right there is completely scaled. Get these scales off here. Now what we're gonna do, take our knife from the booty hole, go in, and then come up to the gills. Just like that. And then you wanna make a cut right behind the gills. And then you can just pull everything out. So then you just pull the gills out. They come with the guts. And I'll clean him up. And that is a clean bluegill. I'm going to knock this other one out. And then I will see y'all in the kitchen. And we'll be frying these bad boys up. Alright, so we got some... Got a, pot of rice, got a pot of rice going. Got some green beans cooking. Got the oil heating up. I'm going to take some of this Andy's seasoning. That old stew from Coon Creek, from Coon Creek Outdoors brought down for me. This stuff is awesome for frying. I'm gonna put a little bit in this bag. It doesn't take a whole lot. You can really use it up good like this. So we're gonna start out with some fillets. So I got six fillets in this bag, and y'all saw how much Andy's I put in there, and this won't take up hardly any of that seasoning. Just wanna roll it around, let everything get seasoned up. This cutting board is clean and fresh. I'm gonna lay these pieces out, dry a little bit while that oil's still heating up. And I'm doing another little trick that Stu taught me. Take an onion and we'll dice it up here in a minute after we get done cooking this fish and fry up some little, little piece of onion. So now we're gonna take, I'm gonna do these one at a time. Take your whole fish, I washed them off really well. Make sure everything on the inside's out. Do the same thing. Watch out for those fins, they'll poke a hole in your bag. Just like that, poke my hand. So you just wanna coat those. Coat it as good as you can. And that's ready for the grease. Same with the other one. And that is gonna be delicious. All right, we'll go ahead and throw these in the grease. I'm sure it's hot. Oh yeah. It's actually a little bit too hot. All right, we'll let everything cook up and then uh, we'll put those big fish on. All right, our fillets are done. Now it's time to lay these bad boys in. Same as the fillets, just let them crisp up on each side. And those fins are the best part of cooking whole fish. Those are cooking up. I'm gonna dice this onion in the quarters. And we'll just break our quarters up in the pieces. Just pull the layers off the quarters. Dog treat. Just kidding, my dogs don't eat onions. So the onions are moist enough or they have enough moisture in them for the seasoning to stick. Just put them all in there. Season them up. And then uh, as soon as we pull those fish out, we'll throw these in. And they'll be nice little crisp onion rings. I remember doing this as a kid. Oh, ow. 
Got me. All right, let these cool down. Throw some onions in, and then we'll give it all a little taste test. This is it. Thanks for this food. Thanks for all of our blessings. Put it back. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna do it against the crappie because it's not really a comparison. They're different fish, but bluegill, whole. Um, I used to eat this when I was a kid all the time, so I didn't know how it tastes. It's amazing. If you haven't done it, you gotta try it. Um, and it's fun to do with your kids, so. Tail. It's like a little potato chip. It's so good. If you think that's nasty, you just haven't ever tried it. Because it really is good. Got a little green bean in there. Fried fish, that's a 10. 10 out of 10, no question. It does not get better than this right here. So, we are gonna enjoy our meal. If you're new to the channel, thanks for uh, stopping by. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna leave a link to another video of me catching big bluegill, because today wasn't the best. I thought I was gonna be able to catch a lot more. There's a lot of moss in the water that's not normally there, so um, I don't know if that affected them or not, but I'll leave that link up here in this corner. And uh, until next time, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and eat good.